when you are asked about why did God in the nine planets, you know the nine planets, yeah. why did God choose Earth, the third planet, to be man's dwelling? Mm-hmm. Why is it the third? Mm-hmm. Why did God choose the third planet? Why not the fourth? Why, why, why not, not the, the first? Nine? Why not the, the sixth or the seventh? Yeah. Try giving up that answer. Because others life. Mm-hmm. Why? Because it has life. <laughs> why did he choose? No, no, the life mm. is him who placed it there. That why did he choose the third? Okay. Because okay, according to me, in the one up and uh mm. yeah. okay. yes. According to me, there is father, there is son, and there is the spirit. There is spirit. Mm-hmm. So three the uh trinity the trinity and the trinity is found in uh, uh, that combination that brings them to three mm. so now you can make me okay in other words that's my trial <laughs> you, no. are, you are actually good you are actually good in line to that mm. now this is what i was revealed to when i was trying to, to answer why mm. god chose the third planet okay as a man's dwelling mm-hmm. one thing you should know is when you look at the planets mercury is called they is called by the name of God. Mm-hmm. It's a God. Yeah. And when you look at star. Venus, mm. it's called the bright morning star. Yeah. The same name that Jesus has. Yeah. The same name that Lucifer had before he was dropped. Yeah. The bright morning, morning star. star. That's the name of Venus. Okay. And when you come to Earth, mm. it's a life sustaining planet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And when you go back to the Bible, you hear that the Spirit of God is a life sustaining power. Yeah. So that gives you why Earth was chosen. Okay. Earth was chosen as a life-sustaining planet. Planet. We live by spirit. Yeah. By That's spirit why it is in the third hierarchy. Okay. Mercury, Venus, Earth. Mm. God, the Sun, the spirit. spirit. So we live by the spirit. Uh-huh. And not by power. Yeah. And that's why God did not choose number two because number two is a protection for number three. Yeah. If number two, because Mercury received the highest heat, it's yeah. called the hottest planet. Huh? Mm-hmm. So imagine if we were to receive the light, this um, ray from the sun directly to Mercury, to the court my boy. But yeah. why is it there as a, a middle girl? Mm-hmm. It is there to cut short the wrath of sun to earth. Yeah which is in this equation is like Jesus Christ being at the center between God and man. Yeah. That we are not receiving the punishment from God directly to earth, but through him it's filtered before it reaches to, to the earth. earth. So why why do we have number three earth as the life sustaining planet? Yeah. Because the life of a man is spirit sustained. Mm-hmm. And the spirit of God is the hierarchy number three in the wow. Trinity. Wow. So everything around the earth is sustained by the spirit of god so god tells you it is not by power by might but by by, by the spirit my spirit wow this is wonderful and that's why he placed you there so that you can know mm. that you are living not because of your distance from me or what but by my spirit sure. and that's why the earth is sustained by the spirit of all of god. of god the planet is moved by the spirit of god yeah he is the power behind all creation that's yeah. the bible mm-hmm. so now that's what was revealed to me. Somebody will say, oh, his story is a jabba, whatever, whatever. But <laughs> it's according to revelation you're being given. You know, revel- Somebody will be given a different revelation that may be building on that mm. or cutting across the same. The same. Yeah. So, you know, the spirit of God is God. It's God. So, and the word of God is new every day. Mm. So the even if you read the word of God tomorrow, morning, the same same verse, and you read it tomorrow, mm. and then the next day, mm. you read it for one week, mm. you'll be getting different revelation. Yeah. Now, you have been given this revelation mm. concerning things. Why it was chosen? And that's why you'll, you'll come, somebody will ask you as you've spoken about Mercury, Venus, then mm-hmm. Earth. Yeah. What about the sun? Mm-hmm. Because sun should be God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Without the sun, there is no life. Very true. And the sun in itself is the word of God. Mm. The word of God is the light of and the lamp. And yeah. it's the light of men. Yeah. Now that's the position of the sun. And it's sharper than double-edged sword. Yeah. It is Nothing a fire that consumes. That's yeah. the word of God. It's a yeah. fire that does what? Consumes. What is the sun? Sun is a fire that consumes. Yeah. It burns everything and gives life to everything. Mm-hmm. The same, the word of God. It 
burns everything and gives life to everything and it lights the path very true so and that's why jesus said god says i've lifted my word above my name mm-hmm. yeah where is the sun is the highest. at the top yeah then you start number one number two number two, three, three four, now i find the yeah, revelation four, that is coming there yeah it is my word mm. that gives light mm-hmm. to the nations yeah it is my word that is the power that does what burns heals and restores yeah the word wow the sun mm. the word mm-hmm. then you find now god because mm-hmm. he's lifted his word above himself mm. that he will follow to do it yeah then you find mercury now position of god mm-hmm. then you find venus the position of jesus christ yeah. then you find the earth the position of christ jesus the holy, the holy spirit, spirit by which the whole earth is sustained wow and that's why there's no life in mars there's no life in venus but there's life in earth because it's the spirit of of god man was created in the garden of eden he was lifeless yeah. until god did what breathed his spirit in him very true so earth become the spirit of god that makes those other planet useless but earth very important wow. so without the spirit of god you are like the rest of the planet but not experiencing the true the true experience that the earth has which is now the spirit of god that's why the spirit of god is supreme so we can say in like uh, there are so many people who are not enjoying the glory of god in their lives mm. because uh, sometimes okay the word of god says that, that god cannot go against his word he respects his word mm-hmm. therefore anything that we do will determine whether we will enjoy the glory of God in our lives, mm. whether we will have that spirit of God in us, mm-hmm. whether we will enjoy the light of God in us, mm. because there are so many people who are out there, they are in darkness. Mm. They are experiencing the heat directly mm-hmm. from the sun. Mm-hmm. You know, when we talk about this heat, it's not, 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 not just the rays direct, mm. not the, the, the rays that we experience every day. Mm. But now, we, we, if we get deeper into the spiritual matters, mm. now this rays, which means that there are powers, mm-hmm. things that people are experiencing, which are direct from the sun. That which are direct from the word of God, mm-hmm. punishing them because mm-hmm. of what they, their mm-hmm. lifestyle they, that they live. Mm. So, this, uh, today, this evening, we are encouraged to live by the spirit, the spirit of god of god remember this is one of the most in, uh, important topics in a life of man understanding why you live in earth mm. you understand how you are how you how you breathe the 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 the, the, the spirit who dwells in you the power that operates in you mm. the life that you live the greatness that you see mm. everything that we see is by the word of god and it is revealing the glory of god god despite how small it is it reveals the glory of god you know sometimes i, uh, I wonder mm. the bible says that go to the hands and they see they have got no leader leader but they know how to work during the summer mm-hmm. and in, during the winter they can hide themselves they they, they gather now where do, do they get that knowledge from god yeah, the glory of god which is the now they are god. revealing the glory of god exactly so it means that despite of how your mind is all the knowledge that you have mm. that knowledge can still reveal the greatness and the glory of god in your life mm. and you in fact we are supposed to reveal the greatness of god the glory of god in every area the bible says i created man for my own glory uh-huh. mm. so now remember the topic is very simple how god is revealed in his creation mm. and we have got it from the man of god therefore as we wind up what can you uh, w- which is the last remarks that you can tell people who are out there who are listening to us who are watching us mm. yeah the last remark for the episode is uh, whatever god gives you he does not give you so that you can use it mm-hmm. to make a name for yourself mm-hmm. but God gives you things, ability, skill, knowledge, and even the idea to come up with new things, not for you, but for his glory. God is not selfish, but he's proud when his children are giving him 
Amen. glory due to him wow. someone might say oh if god created me with this thing then i need to use it for myself because i need to be known be seen yes god wants you to be known because he say your gift will bring you before men before great men Very true. but as i bring you before great men my mission for you is not to go there and make a name for yourself no. my mission is to go there and say i give thanks to the god who gave me all the spiritual gifts so the glory goes back to the him. glory goes back to him wow. knowing that without his power without his spirit mm-hmm. i am useless mm-hmm. well he says no by power is not by might is not by knowledge is not by skill is not by uh, connection is not by the horses or the chariot is not by the experience or the the people you know mm-hmm. it is by the spirit because even the people you know their life is spirit given if god did not give them life through his spirit they'll not be there wow so everything is all within the spirit of, of god. god nothing else is outside yeah everything is there whether you like god or you hate him you are still living because his spirit is still in He's you in if he withdraws the spirit from you dead man. you're gone yeah so there is nothing that you own there's nothing that you know there's nothing that you'll ever know because you are born blank mm-hmm. and you will die silent mm-hmm. but in between here the spirit of god is the one working in you wow so it's up to you to decide to accept now him as the god friend to you and help you and make him help you reach your destiny okay. or about him and die with your destiny in hand wow that's all i can say so know the position of the holy spirit in your life and live a life that glories back to god wow as we wind up i would like to make this final remark the more you study the word of god the more you get to know him mm. deeper mm. the more you study anything that you see around the more you get to know and to see the glory of god in it mm-hmm. so in everything that we do let's be able to show out the glory of god in it thank you very much those who have watched this episode i would like you i would like to request you guys to subscribe i would like you to share to your friends comment and they send your feedback which will be highly appreciated remember we have djc uh, 254 as a channel with the best mixes ever live nation is a place to be we inspire and the god is revealed here mm. so may the lord bless you so much and bless you all until next, next time, time see you thank you very much Oh, 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 oh,